Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another brand new day. Another brand new day on Sunday, the 28th of October. And this little fella just does not want to stay inside of my pocket. So I'm going to show him off real quick. Of course, this is little Dr. Snurf, little cookie. He's an absolute cutie and a sweetheart. I love their stubby little tails. <laughs> they are such sweethearts. He was halfway awake, halfway... Oh, I blew on his face with my talking. Halfway awake, halfway asleep, and I disturbed him. So I'm going to put him back in his cage so we can go back and rest. There you go, little guy. Thank you very, very much. Bring the lid back. Because he wasn't in his nest. He was actually stretched out between his wheel and the wall of his cage. And my cat was on my lap. And now she went and jumped over to go eat food. That's why this has not changed, because up until this moment, and I don't just want to stop recording and then start again after I change that, uh, she's been on my lap. So that was hopefully my first and only, uh, that was mostly there for, I, I do that in videos periodically and I don't like to do it. Mostly games where I'll go, uh, for a comedic effect or whatever, and it, it sticks and I don't like doing that. So my apologies. Past that, not a whole lot has happened. It has been raining 24-7. This is like the second day, second day, third day, where it's just been raining. Yeah, because it was raining on Thursday when I went to therapy, and it was raining on Friday, and it was raining on Saturday, and now it's Sunday morning, and it's still raining. It hasn't been constant except for yesterday and this morning. Yay. Now, I have SADS, which is, of course, the Seasonal Affective Depressive Syndrome, or Seasonal Affective Disorder. The Seasonal, Seasonal Affective whatever. It's there's not enough sunlight during the winter time because it's raining and it affects your mood because you don't get enough sunlight so you don't get enough vitamin D and so you're depressed. Now I had a massive, massive lack of vitamin D in my system a couple of months back where I was taking, you know, normally you might get 50,000 units of vitamin D if you go to a store and buy it. This was prescription strength that was way stronger than even that. And so I was taking massive, huge vitamin D3 tablets to try and bring my D up to a normal level. So I just had my blood checked the last time I went to the VA on Thursday. So I don't know how my blood's doing now, but I know I can feel it. It's been tougher. I've been more depressed about stuff and more discouraged about things. And in fact, this morning I actually tweeted after I looked at the latest results of view times and people, how much people watch, how long they watch, etc., etc., you know, it counts. What are those things? View time, view minutes, and all that. But every time I take a look at one of my videos, it's, you know, every single one of the red things is, oh, it, it, this wasn't even watched as well as your last one. And they're all that way. So, wow. So when this one isn't watched as good as that one, and this one's not watched as good as this one, and this one's not watched as well as this one, and this one's not watched as well as this one, that gets rather discouraging. So this morning it was like, what? why am I even trying? So, I mean, I know why I'm trying. Like I say, it was just discouraging. And, but the point of the fact point of the fact the fact of the matter is I made the channel not to be rich and famous and even if I only had five subscribers which I never even thought I'd get that then that was going to be fine I was making the channel to save my life because my wife had died and it was killing me I needed to get out of my head so I never made the channel to be rich and famous so the fact that they're not doing wonderful and making lots of cash is sad. I mean, I'm trying desperately not to be homeless. 
and I'm lucky if I get 40, 50 bucks a month from YouTube for my videos. So, thumbs up on that. It wasn't for fame, not for fortune. So it's like I've said before and I'll say it again, even if I drop down to only 100 subscribers, it still, it keeps me going and alive. So definitely a good thing. And I know there's no fame and fortune. I mean, what do I do? There's people out there that put time and effort into scripting. They do massive scripts. They do research. They write their stuff up and then they spend time recording. And it's like, wow, you have the discipline I don't have anymore. Even when I was younger, I rarely had that kind of discipline. I can write stories. I can write books. I've got stuff going on in my head and I've got stories that I'm writing now. That's not an issue. But scripting for like stuff that I'm going to talk about, I've never done scripting. I've never had to work on scripting. And then by the time I even thought about that sort of thing, I'd been doing extemporaneous hot takes for so long. I like doing extemporaneous hot takes. So thumbs up. I can ramble and talk and, and just gibber. I've, I, I sometimes say I have the gift of gab because I don't really need to, to engage my brain. It drove my wife crazy because when she woke up in the morning, she didn't talk. She and her mother were like the types that would just grunt for like the first half hour, 45 minutes, an hour of a day. And then when you're awake, you talk. I can understand that. When I wake up and roll out of bed, if I've got people around me, the moment my eyes open, I start jabbering. I don't need to engage my head. I start talking. And then I talk and talk and talk and talk all day. And then I talk all afternoon. And then I talk all evening. And then I talk until it's time for bed. I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and only if I have to engage my brain do I actually engage my brain. Half the time when I was talking it was just my body was going and I wasn't really even paying attention to what I was saying. Just dipping into the conversation here every once in a while to go, what am I saying? Oh yeah, we're good. Am I in conversation? Oh, okay. And then just dealing with everything else that I was doing. So I don't really need to, to talk. Uh, to talk, that was good. I do need to wake up though. I've been awake for about an hour. Occasionally my brain will just come up with stuff like, oh, I need to talk. No, I just can't even remember where I was going with that one because I got so derailed by <laughs> saying the word I need to talk when it wasn't true. Even, I mean, it is, I do need to talk. I am a talker, I have to talk and that's a good thing. But, oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to leaf mold and when it rains, guess what happens outside? The stuff starts to mold like leaves. But anyway though, I you have heard me do some some accents. I mean, I've done the Scottish accent where it's sometimes I can do really, really mild, sometimes very deep. And then I've got the Irish accent. Well, I, there's actually a couple different types. There's this type where you're more lilting and then there's the more RT gamer type where I'm not quite as good as that type. And then, of course, there's the accent from Liverpool, where you can do that one if, you, if you're if you Liverpoolian. So you, you do that one. And so I've got a lot of different types of accents. One that I have always had difficulty with is an Australian accent. And I have tried for years and years and years to do that one. And it tends to drift and then become sort of a mix of Irish and East Caribbean at the same time and it just doesn't work. But I've been studying. I've been picking at that bead of callus on my hand again. Sorry about that. I've been studying. I watch on the internet. There's this one fellow who does the EEV blog. I have no idea what his name is. But he's He's definitely Australian, I mean, you can tell. But he's he's a cool guy. I listen to him talk because he has he does the electronic stuff. And I almost understand, well, electrical stuff, not electronics, though he does the electronics as well. He, he can write his own code, he does stuff with chips. 
and such like that. But he also does like the diodes and capacitors and checking the electrical pulses that comes out of stuff. And I don't understand how to do that stuff. So I like watching when he, he breaks stuff down and does stuff. But <coughs> I've been trying to study his accent and let's see if I can do an Australian accent for any length of time. Because it's really not easy to do the Australian accent and I'm already starting to drift, I can feel it. It's not easy and I, it, like I say, I really start to drift unless I'm paying attention really, really hard to what I'm saying because it can drift so easy. And this is more of the high-pitched one because there are a whole lot of different regional accents in Australia. And this is a mix of like five or six, <laughs> all in one, one. So it's kind of an Australian accent, but also more of a stereotypical one. But it's one that I'm working on. So hopefully that actually sounded okay. I don't know. I'd need someone from Australia to tell me how well I did. So, Carolina, hopefully you're watching. <laughs> Definitely a thumbs up. Oh, itchy, itchy. I even took a shower last night, but I... That's one of the things. It's, showering is going to make you itchy because it dries your skin out unless you lotion up. Well, so far, right now, I just lotion up my feet and my lower legs. I need to start lotioning my arms. I've tried it periodically. It does work. I'm less itchy when I do that. Because when you shower, your skin dries. And when your skin dries, guess what? You get itchy. So I need to lotion up my arms like the day I take a shower, we'll go to bed and see how that works out. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, before I forget, the last few have been near disappointments, but here is a Be Happy card. That is so cool that I can do that. Look at this. Three years ago, this hand was 100% paralyzed. Three years ago, I could do, well, it was 99.9. .9. I could do this, and I could do this. Bringing my fingers inward, I could do a little bit. I had to let gravity and muscle tone pull them back out. By I severed my radial nerve right here and my hand was dead. I was told by people that study this stuff, doctors, that it would be, could be up to seven years before I get this back. And in fact, if in seven years my hand didn't work to not worry, they do heal, nerves heal. But in two years, it was almost 100% and I'm use-wise, it's almost perfect, but I have scar tissue on the nerves and so it doesn't work well. I don't have good function and feeling that there feels weird and wrong inside of here. And these just do not ever feel right and the arm just hurts. So, but it works. That's amazing. But we're going to dig this card out here. I don't know why, just by taking them out of here, they're like taking up less space, but there they are. Be happy. Be a frog and be happy. Okay. These are the magic ears and therefore magic days and therefore magic moments. I guess you could look at that, but it's since that's supposed to be said for any time, at any point in human existence, when you look at that. Uh, no, especially these aren't the magic ears, especially what's happening around the world. Oy vey. And especially here in the U.S. with our president stoking the fires of racial tension and violence and then when Nazis go out and beat people up in the streets, he calls them very fine people. And hey, you know those victims? They, they shouldn't have been victims. They, they should have just protected themselves, but they didn't, so to hell with them. So yeah, I love it here in the USA right now. Anyway though, I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left the comments. It is a range, because even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand, I, I have depression and fibromyalgia and worse, so I'm getting better, but it's bad still. 
If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I need to move my pop screen, I'm sorry. No disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're not good at pronouncing names. And I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. A good comment, a bad comment, and a different comment. The fact is you left a comment. I have good peripheral vision, so sometimes whether I like it or not, I can see a whole comment just when I look at a name, but I try not to. I just want to thank people for having left a comment. So I'm calling up my Chrome, and then we're going to do that. We have Natnut 2008 thank you very, very much. And Liam Moran, thank you, greatly appreciated. Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Canal to Arthas, thank you very, very much. And Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. Ollie B, thumbs up and thank you. Casey Peterson, thank you very, very much. And Bob Ross, <laughs> greatly appreciated. L R, thumbs up on that. Marco H, greatly appreciated. Pandora NYC1, thank you very, very much. And then it's a forward slash and then a colon, so it's kind of a mm, meh face, but thank you very, very much. Cillian McMullen, thank you. And Jen Brennan, Brenham, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Linda Bakelli, greatly appreciated. Wind Limit Games, thumbs up and thank you. And I did get your key. Thank you very, very much. Sarah and Brendan, did I already thank you for that? I can't remember now. If I did, then you got two. If not, then you didn't. Joey Vandenberg, thank you very, very much. And Khalif Hazik, greatly appreciated. Brian Glenn, thumbs up and thank you. Dwight K. Schrute, thumbs up and thank you very much. Lily Johansson, greatly appreciated. And Caroline, um, thumbs up and thank you. Marco H., greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Christopher Morris. Thumbs up and thank you, each and every one of you. As stated, you get me out of this head, into the real world, dealing with actual people. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. When you're depressed, one of the things that happens is social isolation. You pull inward, both out in the world and in here. You pull inward into your head, and it's not good. The inside of your head, especially when you're depressed, is not a good place to be. You just get that echo chamber of all the bad thoughts going round and round and round, and it's hard to break cycles, so you need to get out of that head. So, thumbs up and thank you. Oh, shucks, I might as well say this. I have an Amazon wish list if you want to support me in any fashion without actually sending me money. It's got a whole bunch of hamster plushes on it of late if you wanted to spend a few bucks and get a hamster plush. It also has some more expensive things like there's a $75 Raspberry Pi retro computer on it. So there's all sorts of stuff from the inexpensive to the expensive. So no matter where you are on the financial spectrum, like me, from dirt poor to idly rich, which I've never been, but there's something for everybody if you wanted to check it out. And if you didn't, if you could check out these other links that I have down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron or become a GoFundMe campaign campaign contributor. Uh, was that English? Still, if you could do one of those things, that would be awesome. Like one of these beautiful and awesome Patreon.com patrons. I've gotten all mixed up in my head, so I'm trying to catch up and figure out where I am as I talk. <laughs> How about that? But if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart, where I draw interest, so thank you very much. And of course, if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I had never expected, ever, ever, ever expected to get as many subscribers as I have. This was astonishing. The fact that I still get subscribers keep on going upward. Thank you all so very much. It is appreciated. I'm going to continue to work on projects. I've got videos in mind, and so there's stuff coming up. Thank you all very, very much. It is appreciated to no end. Well, shocks. I've got one minute left because I like to cut this at 20 minutes. For every one person that says, your stuff is too long and too boring and you're not saying anything. I've got two people that say, I could listen to you if you talk twice as long. So, I think 20 minutes isn't bad. <laughs> Thank you all so very much. I'm going to hopefully have a reaction video, hopefully a game video for this channel, hopefully a game video for the game channel. One day I'm going to live stream again, I promise. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very, very good thing.
definitely a thumbs up. I've got seconds to go, but you know what? We'll cut this one short. If it's not at 20 minutes, then thumbs up for that. You take care. I will see you on the flip side.